Hi everyone! This video is especially for cyclists. So if you've come home after a long day in the saddle, you probably have some neck pain or lower back or just your thighs are really burning. But the hamstrings, they don't work at all in the um, cycling. So we are going to stretch a little bit. And uh, the first thing we're going to start with is the neck. So just roll your head to the right. So right ear to right shoulder. Breathe here, inhale. And exhale. And then roll your head to the front. Draw a half a circle. So from the right side to the left side. And now your left ear to your left shoulder. Stretch the right side of your neck. Inhale here. And exhale. And then roll your head to the front again. And now stop wherever you feel some aching and pain. So it could be anywhere along the way. Just stay there and then try to help with your hand. So just deepen the stretch by pulling your head very, sh very slowly and very gently down. And breathe slowly. Inhale and exhale. And now roll again and find another place where you may be aching a little bit more. And do the same with the other hand. Just wherever it could be here, could be to the side, it could be even to the back. So this would open your neck a little bit if you pull your head to the back. And then come, come back to center. So we did a little bit of neck and now we are going to move to the hip flexors. So come to a four-legged position. So just shoulders um, above your hands. And now from here, lift your right leg and put it in between your hands and come up. So make sure you have 90 degrees at the knee, at the right knee, and that your left hip is stretched here. So this is a psoas muscle, which is very neglected. Lift your hands up, shoulders down, and just stay here and breathe. This might feel easy, but it really stretches your left hip flexor and the psoas muscle. Keep the back straight, shoulders down. And then change legs. So come down, right leg on your knee. Lift your left leg and put it in between your hands. Make sure you have 90 degrees at the left knee. Hips are facing forward, lift your hands up and breathe here. Now we are stretching the right hip flexor. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Breathe here. And now from here, come to both feet. So do a forward fold here. Just start easy and grab your elbows. And just wiggle from side to side. Just to warm up the lower back and the hamstrings. So in cycling, usually we don't work with the hamstrings at all. We only work with the quadriceps, the front side of your thighs. So now try to reach your hands to the floor. If you are not reaching, don't worry. 
you can bend your knees so if you are here just bend the knees and try to straighten the back a little bit so make sure your belly is going towards your thighs not round not rounding the lower back so we don't want to do this we want to come down with the belly in direction to the thighs and then your hands might reach they might not reach it doesn't really matter but just stay here with a straight back you can be even here and really try to feel the hamstrings on the back side of the legs if you can reach then you can try to straighten a little bit the knees but don't do it too much if your lower back is rounding so just a tiny little bit maybe strain, uh, stretch one leg and then the other one keep always one leg bent and the other one is straight just move here from right to the left one and once you're ready sit down and lie on your back now this is called a pigeon pose so um, lift your right foot and place it on your left knee and make sure the knee opens to the side and make sure you flex your right foot this is very important to protect the knee and then lift your left leg as much as you can and reach your hands below your left thigh this is lying pigeon pose and it really helps to open your hips the back side of your right hip just stay here make sure you're opening the right knee and breathing and then come down with the left leg and change legs so right leg to the ground left foot on top of your right knee and then let the left knee open to the side flex your left foot and then just lift lift the upper body and reach behind your right thigh and one side might feel um, difficult more difficult than the other one for me that's the left side so don't worry and just stay where wherever you can opening the left hip and then come to the ground and slowly come up back to seated so we did three very basic exercises to stretch you after a, cy a cycling ride so we did our neck our lower back and then we opened the hips and the hamstrings so for more videos please subscribe to my channel